Man, I love Las Vegas during the fall. I mean, like, the weather is 70 degrees outside. Oh, perfect bike weather. The problem with riding a motorcycle in Las Vegas, like, it's 120 some degrees throughout all of summer. And it's like 30 some degrees throughout all of winter. So the only real time you can ride your motorcycle is like a couple weeks during fall and a couple weeks during spring. But to be honest, I try and ride my bike as much as possible, so it's all good. I really like those little Ford C-Maxes over there. I don't know why. Oh, so I washed my bike. She is finally clean after a few years. <laughs> a few years. Actually, it's been like three, four months to be honest. You know, I didn't wash her at all this season. I just pulled her out of storage and then just rode her. Oh, uh, one thing I should mention, always check your bike tire pressure. Because uh, when I pulled this bike out of sto well, out of my garage, which is storage, uh, it hadn't been ridden for like six, seven months, right? So I finally get to riding it, and I've ridden it for about a month so far. And what had happened was the tire pressure was actually in single digits. I just I uh, just refilled it right before I washed the bike. It was like eight psi in the front and nine in the back. And it's supposed to be running around 40, 44 PSI. And one, like motorcycle tires, you don't really see that they're low on air. Because they're meant to be able to hold up a rider even in single digit, single digit PSI's. And it's actually pretty impressive. I guess that's why they're so insanely expensive. Okay, so what this video is going to be about is what you should do when you pull your bike out of storage. In all honesty, this is the worst time to put this video up. Mainly because everyone's about to put their bike in storage. But what you should do when you put your bike in storage, drain all the oil out of it. If you have coolant, drain that out too. That way when you pull your bike back out of storage, you don't need to like worry about uh, corroded uh, coolant galleries and then all the other things like that. Because what happens in coolant, especially if you don't replace it often enough, it can actually uh, corrode the aluminum inside the engine. It won't rust, but it'll oxidize. Uh... Man, these new glasses are actually really good. Empty out the oil before you put it in storage. Or change it right after you get it out of storage. After a few months, the oil in your engine well, actually loses the viscosity. Uh, that's the way oil works, it degrades over time. It also degrades with use. Now, the thing is, once the oil loses viscosity, it can get stuck in certain parts of the engine. For example, sometimes you'll have oil that gets uh, stuck up in your, like say you have an overhead cam engine, it'll get stuck in your head. Ohio. Bicentennial, birthplace of... Why is Ohio called the birthplace of aviation? T aviation? Kitty Hawk, North Carolina is where the first flight was ever, f like, done by the Wright Brothers. Ohio people, o Ohioans, or whatever you guys call yourselves. Why is Ohio the birthplace of aviation?